Hey guys, yeah, we're gonna be uh, trimming bushes today and I'm gonna teach you a couple tricks. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the difference between a hard cut, which is kind of a pissed off cut, and then a smooth cut, sort of a finishing cut. There's two different ways to do this. So hold on one sec. Hey guys, I originally was just gonna make this video a hard cut video where you have a big ugly bush and you just wanna just take it way, way down really hard. I've done that many, many, many times around here. Matter of fact, we've taken them down to stumps, almost nothing before. So I wanted to show you an aggressive hard cut where you're just like, man, this thing's too big. And yes, you can aggressively go in and take that thing down. But then, you know me, I can't stop there. So I decided to trim the front bushes as well. So someone, many people have asked about my trimming on the small bushes out front. So I said, well, let me go ahead and show you how to do a soft cut. And there's a couple of important tips in there like the booty cut. What's a booty cut? I'll show you a booty cut. I'll show you a blade angle. I'll show you a few different things on the gentle one. So uh, let's go to the video. By the way, click the subscribe button. Only good looking, intelligent people get to click subscribe. So if you don't, we know what. <laughs> Hold on, here we go. Hey guys, so normally when you're dealing with bushes and trimming bushes, you're talking about small, gentle little bushes. Uh, you just want to go in and give them a light trim. These things back here, I can't stand these things. These things when we first moved in were over the roof and I had my crew come in and actually take them down to almost a stump. There was nothing left of this tree uh, two years ago. And I do that hard cutting, usually uh, very early spring while they're still a little bit dormant. And it was nothing but wood left on the tree. I'm telling you, they were down to stumps. <laughs> and these things, you can't kill them. I don't care what anyone says. Oh, you're going to hurt your tree. You're going to hurt your tree. You go, well, we'll try and kill that thing. You can cut it down to a stump and it's going to grow back. But um, you have a nasty bush like this and you want to take it down. Barb has them. We do some on hers too. But all I want to do, I just want to talk to you about, there's a natural way to prune this where you reach in and you, and you, and you prune it gently. I don't have time for that. I got one, two, three, four, five. I got five of these things to do. I hate them. They're just a pain in my butt. So all I'm gonna do is just show you how to hard, hard trim it real quick. The only thing I do when I do this, now I started trimming bushes manually when I was about 15 years old, working uh, on an estate. I worked on an estate and I used to have to hit all these little bushes all the way down the driveway. And I used to have to go hand trim these things. Man, what a pain in the butt. So, but all I do and what I learned even from the beginning is to just visualize that circle. In your mind, when you look at something, you sort of visualize it and then you just feel it as you're going. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you make a mistake, it's gonna grow back. Don't worry about it. But when you wanna take something down like this, you got a big one, um, you don't wanna damage your trimmer, so you don't wanna go after branches that are too thick, but you wanna be pretty aggressive. Again, when my guys came in, they came with loppers and we lopped this thing, these things down. The bushes and the red tips around my house, they were up over my roof. They were gigantic. We just took them down the stumps. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna go ahead and shoot this and let you see how I do it. Again, I'm just visually thinking about the circle. That's all I'm doing. So I just want you to see that when I do this. thinking about <laughs> all 
all I'm thinking about is a circle. Every time I step around, where's my circle? Where's my circle? That's what I'm thinking about. And you can keep hitting this as hard as you want, as hard as you want, keep taking it down, taking it down. As long as you leave a little bit of foliage on those tips, this, these things will be fine. So there's my speed trimming. This is not the way an arborist does this. <laughs> this is the way you do it when it's hot, you're sweating your butt off, and you got these ugly things, and you want to take them down quick, and you got seven of them to do. You come out here and you can do it real quick. So a lot of people are going to say, you're not supposed to cut your bushes round. <laughs> the wife wants round bushes, so I cut them round. You can do a natural prune if you want. I don't have time for it. All right, when you're hard pruning bushes, get pissed off and just go ahead and just think of that circle. And it's best to start at the bottom and come up the leaves, the branches will fall. Sometimes when the branches are growing like this, if you come down, you'll catch a branch and push it down. Rather, it's better usually to come up and trim when you're hard pruning. That's a good little tip. When you're soft pruning, when you're soft pruning, if this is my blade and it's flat, as I come around the edge, I don't keep my blade like this. I actually turn my wrists like this. So my blade is actually gonna come and do this as I go around, as I follow. So my blade is actually gonna go in the circle of a shape as I do this too, because it's a very gentle, smooth movement as I go through it. Again, um, some of this movement is gonna be on the top like this, some is going to be on the, then I'll shift and I'll go to the side and I'll do that curl. Sometimes I actually go upside down like this and do that shape a little bit. And then I come from the bottom up a little bit. So it's a multiple of movements, but I'm same thing. When I go to these small bushes, I'm not being aggressive. I'm actually being soft and I'm actually just taking little by little. I'll do one of them because it's getting hot out here. So hold All on. Right. So that's the one I figure I'll do for you guys so that you can see it. One of the feels I want you to get too is I want you to get the feel of letting this flat bay, this flat blade sort of lightly rest and follow the top too. So if this is my surface of the bush, I'm kind of not letting it rest hard, rest gently and follow as I go. So I'm not digging into it, I'm just letting it just sort of go across like this. So you can see this bush versus the other bushes. And now it looks nice and neat when you the camera. So where this bush has all kind of scraggly and has crap all over it, this one is nice and round and pretty. All right, so another tip, uh, I have a big booty. I'm proud of my booty, but we don't want a big booty on the bushes. That's gotta be a country music song. Don't want no big booty on my bushes. I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that bottom protrusion real quick, so hold on. I don't know if you can see it or not, but the bottom, there's a bunch of stuff sticking out of the bottom, and when you come down around, you can never get to that. So what you do is go to ground level, bring your blade in, and then just turn, roll your blade a little bit at the bottom. So again, I'm gonna stick it in, and I'm just gonna roll it, and then stop. So watch what happens. inside. Blade in straight, roll it up, stop. That's all you gotta do. Blade in straight. Stop. So I went ahead and did this one, kind of a hard cut. I gotta do all these into the ball shape. I did, I actually got that one done. I did this one. These over here I need to clean the clippings off of them. 
and then these over here too. Again, I don't worry about a perfect ball shape. They just look decent. Now, I'm going to rake. Here's one of the reasons why I'm doing this. I'm going to get some more mulch today. I'm not going to rake all these up. I'm going to rake the bulk of these up and then cover everything with mulch. It's a little cheap. Fairly nicely done. Again, I did this real quick because I'm trying to do this for the heat of the day. So not my best work, but good enough to make them look good. So the last thing I'm going to do is I go around to each bush with a rake and aggressively rake it just like this. And then what you'll see is you'll find if you have any stragglers that need to be trimmed like that, then you can go ahead and trim it and get rid of all that dead stuff. Because if it's leave it on there, it'll turn brown on the bush. So just aggressively just go by and rake it. Don't use your hands because there may be a wasp nest inside of it. So we got some fresh mulch, freshly trimmed bushes. It's nice and tidy. And then I actually came over here and put out some fresh mulch over here. And you can see those bushes, how they're trimmed over there. They're pretty decent. So the basic rules of landscaping are trim your bushes, keep your grass cut, do a lot of edging, fill up your natural areas, and everything is looking pretty good. Pretty happy with that. And it is scorching hot out here. So if you like this video, push the like button. If you hate this button, this video push the hate button where's that hate button <laughs> anyways click subscribe guys uh and i'm gonna go inside and i'm gonna drink a lot of fluids i think this is like the third shirt of the day so far <laughs> i may go jump in the pool talk to you later Doc.